All right, here we have our gorgeous 1994 Ford F-150. Regular cab short bed. It's got the short wide box, which is hard to find. Uh, it's an XLT 4x4. It's got the big 351. Uh, 5.8 V8 automatic. This was purchased brand new at Empire Ford in uh, Spokane, Washington. So it's always been in Washington State. Complete rust free. And the paint and body on this thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's called Ultraviolet. Um, or it's called Ultra Red Clear Coat is what it's called. Um, I think it's color code MH. But I have been up and down this truck, left and right, everywhere to see if this is the original paint or been repainted. But um, if it was a repaint, it was an incredible job because there's no tape marks, overspray, or anywhere on this entire truck. But I can't imagine this was the, the uh, original paint because it is, I mean, incredible. It's got... Just a little over 170,000 original miles, but there is no chips really on this thing anywhere. I mean, you're going to find just a couple of small stone chips. Like maybe there's one, uh, and that's it. And there's another one, too. Along the hood, you got just a small one there. And on the rockers, you won't find one either. There's no clear coat issues, no paint flaking. I mean, the paint and body is in just incredible condition. I mean, if we go along the rocker here, you're just not going to find any stone chips. Uh, there's one. You know, you got a couple there, but and you got another little one. So, if regardless if this is the original paint or not, um, it has been very well kept for. I know there's a stone chip there, but I mean these are really hard to find. I mean, you won't you, normally you would see some tape lines in the engine bay or um, like along the molding. So, I mean, all this was pulled if it was resprayed. Normally, if it's uh, you'll find tape lines like there, but if this truck was resprayed which I believe it was I mean it was taken off completely apart all windows everything pulled doors were done because there's no tape lines you'll always find a tape line there and some overspray along with here if it has been resprayed but it's just not there box is in beautiful condition it's got your nice drop-in bed liner the bulkheads not all beat in I mean I think you know I'll try hard here but I think there might be just a one ding or two on the entire body I mean this paint is just unbelievable. It's hard to describe how nice it is. When you look at the box here, it was touched up a little bit there with, looks like the wrong color red. So I would definitely touch that up with the right color red because there was a couple reds they offered. Um, this is the slightly darker red. It's not like the bright, bright, more tomato red color. I mean, you look at the, no, no dents or, you know, no bumper rub. Again, here on the passenger side, just maybe a couple stone chips right in there. That's it. There's this chip there. Small chip there. Um, another area that was touched up. There's a couple areas that touched up. They used the wrong red. I don't know why they kept going, but maybe they hoped when it dried it would look better. Small scratch, small chip. Really small surface scratch. It goes to about there. That's the same chip I showed you. But normally these things just get pelted. This thing has been undercoated since new, but you look at the paint between the box and that bed. So the bed was clearly taken off when the paint was done. But I mean, there is a chance that this owner was a super meticulous and this is the original paint I mean it was just there's a little chip I mean the, if it was repainted it was done a while ago a little scratches there a little chip there but I mean you look here you can see the foam between there's no paint on it so this truck was done right along with all the moldings if it was sprayed I mean you look here and you don't see any marks just a couple small stone chips along the rocker there which you know, sometimes that's kind of why I'm thinking maybe you gotta respray it, because, I mean, you would just have to be, you know, well, I don't know, though, because this side does have a little little natural wear to it, so, I don't know, it's, it's gonna be up to you guys to figure out this original paint or not, but, regardless, this this truck is in absolutely fantastic condition. It's got the polished aluminum Alcoas, wheels, you know, with 31-inch BFG all-terrains, and they still got some good amount of life left in them. Uh, the underside is in really clean condition, as you can see in the picks. It's been undercoated. I'll try to get down there. It's got, uh, you look at these doors. I mean, it's it's an unbelievable condition. I mean, the door's shut like a vault. And you got the original decal there, so I don't know. As I'm going here, I'm thinking maybe this is original paint, you know, because you have all this stuff, which I mean, there's no overspray around here. You'd get like the decal edge would be some overspray. But, so on the inside, you got a nice headliner, smoke-free interior, really nice dash. Uh, it's just got one little small spot hairline I'll show you when I get over the passenger side. Aftermarket Ken, uh, Pioneer CD. 
And here's the remote and the iPod setup. So it's a nice non-smoker. Obviously, he's not gonna be putting his smokes on that. Uh, this is covering up the airbag deal um, because it needs a new clock spring, which we have on order. So when the new owner gets it, that'll be gone. Um, and it's a common issue inside the steering column. It makes kind of a weird noise and then it, the little spring goes. So that'll be fixed, so that'll be no issue. Really nice looking. Uh, you know, your carpet does have its little discoloring. It's a light gray carpet, so um, you know you can get it for real cheap. If you want to cherry out the interior, you can usually get a carpet kit for about 129 to the door. It's got a little bit of wear on the seat there. Got the lumbar support, pulled down armrest, which is cool to see. Um, but the steering wheel is in nice condition. I don't know if it did have leather on it at one time, but they just have these little marks, and then you know. But as you can see, there's no door sagging. Just shuts like new I mean even like you look inside the gas door here you pop it open you know you would see some overspray and stuff like that in there but you just don't really nice tailgate straps aren't all beat up it shuts really nice and smooth you don't have to worry about any tailgate slack but I mean it's just like a vault I mean really nice solid sound when you close that door you know, we'll do a separate video driving. I have to show all the electricals and everything. It's got cold AC, all the power windows, power door locks work. I mean, you look in the, the door jams and the hinges are just shiny red like the outside. Nice cap corners, no stress cracks on the body. A little bit of sting there. I think that'll come up though with some good cleaner. So I'll hit that for you. Uh, hopefully I can get that to pull up. But I just want to show you everything's here. There's that little hairline crack. And this part is removable if you want to replace it. Uh, it's got the original owner's manuals and all that good stuff as seen in the pictures. But I'll take you underneath here real quick and then we'll pop the head. But you can see it's got the factory undercoating on it, mostly st still along the frame, which I wish all these trucks had. Because um, they get that surface rust area. Nice and clean, you know. Not sparkling clean, but nice and sanitary so you know it hasn't been all steam cleaned and hiding stuff. I mean, once you get that cross member up front greasy from a leaker, it's it's hard. I mean to ever get clean again but it looks nice and clean you know it's uh you don't want to go eating off of it but it's an honest truck one thing is is the original owner you know he put the, the chrome ones on there instead of the black and he replaced these with chrome ones those are actually stock for the late 90s or, or i mean early 90s late 80s but you know you could always go back to the plastic ones but they break off you know so that's probably why he replaced that and they look cool you know with this truck now it's got the 351. I'll go ahead and fire it up. Really nice. So, all right, we'll fire this thing up. Grab the key here. So you'll see all the lights come on and go off. You know, uh, if we pull this thing off, it does blink. I don't even know if we can. Can't even get it off, but we'll leave that on there and then, uh, but it will be replaced and that thing will be pulled off there and everything will be good. We've got brand new exhaust on it. Running really nice and quiet. It's a great sounding motor. Pulls really strong. I mean, this thing's got some juice to it. Uh, the window was replaced. Uh, when he did that, he didn't put the windshield wiper back to the place, but I'll go ahead and pop that off and get that realigned. I just now noticed that. Um, it's, you know, kind of replaced with stock style exhaust. You know, with a chrome tip, but it's got a nice little sound to it. <laughs> but you can see there's no smoking or ticking or anything going on with this motor. So, all right, this is going to be a seven day auction. Uh, it's going to be no reserve, so high bidder will take this one home. And again, you know, it's got 170,000 miles on it, 173, but this thing is nicer, far nicer than a lot of trucks I get to have, you know, half that mile. So, hey, it's hard to find all red. There's no two tone on this one. You know, it's the XL2 package, regular cab shorty, which is always, you know, they always stay strong in value and always going up. So, this will be a great truck for somebody. And again, it's got a clean Washington title.